I just want everybody to know that we're, uh, we're out here for the right reasons, that we really care about the game, we care about the kids, and uh, that we're out here to give our best effort and has nothing to do with anything more than that. My name is Eric Thibodeau. I've been roughing Kitchener Minor Hockey probably for about 20 years. Good luck, guys. All the best, eh? Hey, Jerry, you got a contract, bud? So if you got a question, come and ask me. Yeah. I'm totally open to that. Okay. If everything is cool and if you could just step off the bench, I'd oh, appreciate yeah, no, that too. Yeah. Have a good one, buddy. Yeah. No ego, by the way. Hey, you just call, you see something, call it, man. Look at me first, especially if it's a high stick. Yeah. I'll do something like, you know, high or I'll put my arms up or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all good to go? All good to go, Black? Good to go, White? Okay, guys. Start of the game, okay? I'll throw you guys in for 10 minutes if you do any garbage, all right? Let's play hockey. Good luck, all right? I played hockey uh, for Kitchener Minor Hockey my whole life and at some point my dad told me I needed to get a job so he said get out and do something that you like to do son and I said well I like to play hockey and he hooked me up with the referee in chief and I started refing when I was about 13. Loose, loose, loose! We have a responsibility to, uh, to the teams, to the players, to our partners, to the game, to uh, call it fair, to be impartial, to uh, uh, protect the kids, make sure that people don't get injured. And uh, I think I have a responsibility to myself to make sure that I did the game that I believe in. And I think that's the most important, is to walk out of here and make sure that I feel like I can go to sleep that night and make sure I did a good job. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Don't put him on your goalie. Don't put him on your goalie. Leave him alone. Good work, guys. That's it. You did the right thing. Thank you, all right? Good job. I was uh, in behind where his arm went like this, but I was actually on this angle. And from where I was, it didn't, it, didn't look, it didn't look like it went across the line, but it looked like it was pretty damn close. Loose puck, loose puck! Heads up, here I am! You know, as the speed uh, increases out there, it's harder to capture every single play. And I think that that's kind of where people are being a little bit more critical right now, but we're not in the NHL. We don't have the luxury of cameras and vid instant replay. We got to call it the way we see it. So lots of times we hear some negative feedback from the benches, but a lot of the times it's for a call that they just wanted to have, not something that they should have gotten. No, 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 no and they on. hit our goalie. They hit our Your goal. guy pushed him in. No, Your no, guy no. pushed him in. No, that's no. why. That's why the whole damn play stopped. All right. I'm just going to tell you my angle on it. Okay. Two guys hit him at the same time. One spun him the other way. It wasn't really a direct hit from behind. I hear you. A player was on a breakaway, and he got tripped from behind and the puck went into the goalie, so I had a penalty uh, on, the, on the play. It wasn't gonna be a penalty shot because he was fouled from the side, but I had my arm up for the penalty call. The puck trickled into where the goalie was. The goalie covered it, and as soon as I was about to point at the player to give him the penalty, I wiped out like crazy and fell right into the boards. And the kid just looked at me and said, what's up, ref? And I said, that's the new signal for tripping. 61, let's go, interference, 61 black. Sixty-one black, two minutes interference. Right here, fellas. Well, to tell you the truth, I think that we all like to ref the little guys the best. Adam, AAA, it's great hockey. The kids are all smiling. They're there for the right reasons, and the game's so pure. And that way, I think we feel like we're really giving back to a game that we all love, because we're not doing this for money. We're out here for 
uh, you know, for some exercise, first of all, and a mental uh, challenge. And at the same time, I think we're all out here to give back to this game. So I think that the most pleasure for me is, is to see a goalie make an amazing save and that 10-year-old smile is just like, wow, I got it. And I go up and pat him on the back and say, good save, pal. That's magic.